Welcome back to Short Times, where we bring you the latest and greatest movie recaps in just a few minutes. Today, we're taking a look at the psychological horror film, The Turning. This film takes us to the eerie Fairchild estate where a young tutor, Kate Manda, begins to uncover the truth behind the ghostly hauntings that plague the estate. The story begins at the Grand Fairchild estate, where a young woman by the name of Miss Chessel is seen running out of the house in a state of panic. She gets into her car and speeds towards the gates, but just as she is about to make her escape, she is caught by an older man. It is the year 1994 and Kate Mandel is getting ready for her new job as a tutor for the young Flora at the Fairchild Estate. She says goodbye to her roommate Rose and heads to visit her mother, Darla, who lives in a mental institution. Darla is an artist and is suffering from schizophrenia. As Kate drives to the Fairchild Estate, she is greeted by the caretaker, Mrs. Groves, who is tending to the garden. She gives Kate a tour of the house and mentions that Flora's older brother Miles is currently away at school. Mrs. Groves also reveals that the children's parents tragically died in a car accident just outside the gates, an event that Flora unfortunately witnessed. Kate then meets Flora in the stables where she is playing with the horses. Flora gives Kate a tour of the estate, and Kate notices that Flora is an eccentric child who never ventures outside of the estate's grounds. Flora also tells Kate that the east wing of the house is off-limits and she doesn't want to go there. Flora also mentions Miss Jessel, her previous tutor, who left without saying goodbye which made Flora upset. That night, after tucking Flora into bed, Kate closes her window and sees the ghostly image of a woman. She decides to explore the east wing of the house, where she comes across a statue of what is said to be Flora's great-grandmother. As Kate turns her back, the statue's head moves on its own, which startles her. Kate also experiences several other eerie occurrences. She meets Miles, who has returned home from school, and finds him to be aloof and unfriendly towards her. The next morning, Kate discovers an old diary that belonged to Miss Jessel. As she reads through it, she learns that Miss Jessel had been worried about Miles' association with Peter Quinn, the former writing instructor. Kate joins Flora and Mrs. Groves for breakfast, where Miles apologizes for possibly scaring her the previous night. When Miles tries to leave and Kate suggests he take his plate to the kitchen, he makes a snide comment about it not being his job. But Mrs. Groves is more than willing to do it, citing that she knows her place and that Kate should be aware of her place when dealing with people from well. They then receive a phone call from Miles' school informing them that Miles has been expelled for violently attacking another student, but Mrs. Groves seems to brush it off. Kate starts to tutor Flora and asks her about Miles, to which Flora replies that he is the best. Kate tries to build a better relationship with Miles, but he remains reserved and distant. At night, while Kate is talking to Rose on the phone, she looks out of the window and thinks she sees one of the children drowning in the pool. She rushes over and jumps into the water, even thinking she sees a body at the bottom of the pool. But it turns out to be just a creepy statue that the children used as a prank on her. Kate is not amused by this. Later, while taking a bath, Kate sees another ghostly image. She goes to bed but feels uneasy, so she leaves the light on. Miles enters her room and offers to give her horse riding lessons as a way to make amends for his previous behavior. Kate joins Flora and Miles for horse riding lessons. And as they walk by the koi pond, they see a bird eating one of the fish. Miles cruelly kills the bird to put it out of its misery. The next day, Kate appears disheveled and tired due to the continued hauntings. She suggests to Mrs. Gross and the children that they take a trip into town since it's sad, despite the rule that Flora should never leave the estate. Kate manages to convince them to go, but just as they are about to leave the gates, Flora freaks out and starts crying forcing Kate to stop the car so Flora can run out. Miles then menacingly tells Kate he knows what she's afraid of. He also reasserts his dislike of her, which makes Kate call Rose and express her doubts about her job. Later, Kate finds Flora and apologizes for not listening to her earlier, and Flora forgives her. Kate attempts to reconcile with Miles, but he continues to act bratty. She asks Mrs. Groves if Miss Jessel left because of Miles but Mrs. Groves reveals that it was because of Quinn. He had an unhealthy obsession with her and drove her away. He later died after riding his horse drunk. Quint was also a bad influence on Miles, frequently taking him out of the house. Kate later reads more of Miss Jessel's diary and finds disturbing entries about Quint and even pictures he took of her while she was asleep. 
The next day, after a lesson, Kate finds herself in the basement while playing flashlight tag with the children, where she is confronted by the ghost of Miss Jessel, who takes her flashlight. Despite initially thinking it was another prank by Miles, she soon discovers that he was upstairs with Flora and Mrs. Groves. Kate's curiosity deepens as she begins to suspect that there may be more to the strange happenings at the estate. Kate receives artwork from her mother Donna, which causes her to become worried about her mother's well-being. She later talks to her mother on the phone and is disturbed to hear that Darla sounds delusional, claiming that they are trying to get her out. This, combined with Mrs. Groza's comment about the possibility of Kate's mother's condition being genetic, causes Kate to question her own sanity and the truth behind the mysterious events happening at the estate. The next day, Kate's encounter with Miss Jessel's ghost leads her to a shocking discovery, as she is taken to a pond outside the estate where Miss Jessel's body is kept. Kate is horrified as she is forced to witness a vision of Quint violently assaulting Miss Jessel. She approaches Mrs. Groves with this information, but it becomes clear that Mrs. Groves had been aware of the situation and chose to let Quint's actions go unchecked. In a shocking turn of events, Quint's ghost appears and causes the death of Mrs. Groves. Kate, overwhelmed with fear and trauma, quickly gathers Flora and Miles and urges them to leave the estate with her. As they are leaving the estate, Kate's mind is still grappling with the reality of what she has witnessed. She begins to question Flora about her own experiences, particularly if she had seen Quint's ghost. Flora is upset and goes with Miles, who mockingly tells Kate that she is crazy. Kate is left with a feeling of uncertainty and doubt about her own sanity, as well as the truth behind the strange occurrences at the estate. The last scene shows Kate in a mental institution, where she is being held against her will and she sees herself being attacked by a vision of Darla. The implication is that Kate was institutionalized due to her experiences at the estate and her belief in ghosts, and that her mother's mental illness may have been passed down to her. The Turning is a thrilling and creepy horror film that will keep you on the edge of your seat. The performances by the lead actors are noteworthy, and the story is intriguing and well executed. If you're a fan of horror films and are looking for something new to watch, this is definitely worth checking out. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and leave a comment with your thoughts on the film. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.